Hey guys, it's me, Skylar Capri, and today I'm going to be doing a Star Wars The Dark Side makeup tutorial. I am going to see the new Star Wars movie tonight, which is December 20th, and I thought I would film two tutorials, one for the dark side and one for the good side. So today I am doing the dark side one, and I hopefully will also have up today the light side one, be not the light side, but the good side, because I wanted to get two tutorials up before seeing the movie, because I know a lot of people like to go um, see, um, new movies starting around Christmas time, and as Star Wars as one of the really popular ones this year, I wanted to do two tutorials. So, I've already done my brows, and I've already done my face makeup, and if you're wondering, any of the products I've used, um, the face makeup is all the same as that in my, um, Christmas tutorial, but if you guys would like to see a five-minute makeup routine where I kind of go, um, like my normal natural makeup routine just leave a comment down below telling me so and um i can have that up so the face makeup is already done i already have concealer oh primer um concealer powder blush bronzer and then i've already done my brows and now we're just going to be moving on to the rest of the um face and eyes so this is the dark side so i am going for a red dark look um, I haven't done my highlighter yet, and I'm using, of course, the Pro Fusion Studio Highlight Palette. This is obviously one of my favorites, if you can't tell, as it is mentioned in literally every single makeup video. And I'm actually going to be using the darkest shade right here. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to... I think I'm going to mix that with the orange shade right there to get a more deeper, intense highlight. I'm not sure how this is going to go. But we are just going to go for it because this is a dark side makeup tutorial. I want the highlight and the face makeup to be a bit darker. And I don't know if it's showing up on camera because my lights, it's raining outside. And like my lights without the sun, it's like looking very like strange. So I'm just going to apply some highlighter. I'm actually going to also dip into the lightest shade, which I've hit pan on right here, just to intensify it more to see if it will be able to show up on camera. And you can see it right there. And then I'm just going to be mixing those three again and going down the bridge of my nose. We can get really um, glowy. All right. Now on to the best part, the eyes. Um, I'm going to be using the Nudes um, palette by Maybelline and also the NYX Professional Makeup Happy Birthday palette. This was the palette for Ulta for birthday months, um, September, I think July and maybe June. Not sure, but it was um, definitely September and I think July in another month. So I'm going to be using the red shade in here as my red today. And from the Nudes palette, I'm going to be using the black. And I want to use the black in here instead of my Naked 2 palette because this is less intense. And if I make a mistake, it is not the end of the world as that is very, very pigmented and I would have to restart the look. All right, starting in the Happy Birthday palette. First off, I'm just going to be taking this shade right here. It's just a matte um, shade, and I'm just going to be applying that all over my lid just to get a bit of a base. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still quite under the weather and a bit sick, so I wanted to film them. All right, and now we are going to do the base shade, taking a Lottie London brush, and that red shade that I used in my Christmas tutorial. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. I will link it in the cards. I'm just going to be really packing that on the brush and applying it. This is such a really nice pigmented shadow. Oh, I forgot to do my crease. <laughs> Let me do that first. All right, um, I'm gonna be taking the um, silver, not silver, like the gray tone shade right there, and I'm going to start buffing that in the crease, because I forgot to do that, and that's not probably good. Alright, I'm going to do that same on my other eye before I forget to, because knowing me, I'd forget to do it. Totally forgot a crease transition shade. All right, now that that's laid down, we're going to go back in with that red. I'm kind of mad because I couldn't really find, like, a deep, rich red color because I don't own any reds as I am not a avid 
um, like pop of color makeup wear. But I'm super excited to show you guys the light side tutorial because I, for some reason, I have like a whole bunch of blue shadows that I've like received in Ipsy's and stuff. So I'm so excited for that one because it is going to be so much fun with all that color. And then again, I'm going to be packing that red on the other eye. Um, this is still showing up orange in camera as it was in the um, Christmas tutorial. I'm planning on doing a Winter Wonderland tutorial, um, maybe tomorrow or the day after. And also, if you guys would like to see a Christmas Eve glam makeup look, please leave a comment down below telling me so. Alright, so I have the red on, and it looks quite crazy on camera, but I think it's just because of my lighting. My lighting is so, like, whacked out right now because of this rain, and I'm so sad it's raining outside because... I like need natural light for my videos. All right, now we're taking a scone blending brush and we're going into this scary but um, possibly um, looking good black shade right here. And I'm just gonna very gently, as you can see, this, I'm just gonna very, very gently just tap my brush in there because I do not want this to be so crazy. You're probably gonna be like, you didn't even get anything on the brush. And I'm just gonna be using my NYX palette so I can really focus it in on the outer leaf. I don't even think I got anything on the brush. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so let's really dip into this black shade. I probably got way too much now, but it's okay. And I'm going to really be hitting it on the outer V and barely blending it. As you can see, I'm just going to really be packing it on there. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Take some more of that, and I'm just going to really, really pack it on there using this blending brush and blend a bit into the crease. I keep wanting to go into this palette, and I'm like, the color's not in there. And then I'm going to get some more of that red and pop it back on the eye as it's kind of blended some of it away. So, just going to do it there, and then... It's going, and I'm just going to smooth out the edges, and we will be done with this eye. Alright, so that's how it looks. It's a red faded out into a black. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to really be hitting it with that black right in the corner. I'm sorry about holding my mirror. I just can't, like, see, um... I don't have a mirror behind me because there's a window behind me so I can get as much natural light as I can. So I apologize for using a mirror because you probably can't even see what I'm doing. Oh wow, that whoa, that got a bit too pigmented. So let's try and uh, smooth that out with the red and coming back in here and really popping it on the lid. Putting it a bit into the crease. Ooh, I'm kind of digging it. This is definitely not a wearable everyday look. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to quickly just blend this out a bit more because that's uh, it's not even blended at all. But, it's okay. Alright, so those are the eyes. It's blended out. Um, it looks a bit, like, strange on camera. But I promise you, in real life, it is red and a black um, look for Kylo Ren. Now I'm just going to be taking my Tarte mascara and putting that on. I would do liner, but I think it's just going to look too crazy. And I'm also, as you guys know, not the best with liner. So I'm not going to do that in this look. And at the end of the video, I will bring you closer to do a close-up. This is a... I know in, I think my Christmas tutorial, I said it was quite clumpy, but I don't know, like, this morning I was using it, and it wasn't, oh, what am I doing? I always use the sand. This morning I was using it, and it was separating my lashes really nicely, so I'm not sure what's up with that, because it was so clumpy and flaky in my Christmas tutorial, so I don't know if something happened overnight, but it's doing a good job now. Alright, so let's finish up with the mascara and not go too crazy. 
All right, so those are the completed eyes. It is quite dark um, for my liking because I normally go really like airy, um, bright, like shimmery shades, but I wanted to do something dark for the dark side. And actually, I'm going to quickly grab a black pencil liner. I can find my Lord and Berry All right, here it is. Sorry about that. Um, here's my Lord and Berry uh, eyeliner, which I'm going to try and do a fade for my lips. I've never really tried this before, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go. But yeah, so I'm just taking a black um, pencil liner. I wouldn't recommend a liquid liner, but you could try that. But I'm just going to start doing this on the outside corners of my lips. So that's what it looks like. It's a bit messy, but I'm going to be putting a lipstick over it. So I'm just going to dip that on. Just gonna wanna dab that on, dab that on the center. Kind of like I was saying dub, and I was like, what? All right, then I'm taking the NYX Red Lipstick in Chaos. I think this is, yes, this is one of their lip smacking fun colors. I'm This is like a true blood red, and I'm just gonna be putting over that eyeliner color. And unfortunately, I don't have a red um, lip liner. I misplaced it, so I can't really, like, clean up the edges with that, so it doesn't bleed. All right, so that worked out quite nicely because it is a deeper, less bright red than um, it was normally. And now I'm going to bring you up close kind of for a closer look. So this is what it looks like. It kind of smudged right there, so I apologize. But it is just a red eye look with a um, deep red lip. Um, I'm sure you can probably find on Instagram, I'm going to set you down there, a better tutorial for the red lips because I haven't really tried that before. But I wanted to do it in this video because it was already dark. And I was like, all right, let's try it. So this is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And up next will be the good side. So I'm going to be doing like a blue-green look. And I have to say I'm a, I'm a bit more excited for that one. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.